Say man. Hey man. You remember uh when you fell down those steps? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the story goes. Ooh, I'm feeling good. Um, <laughs> um Matt had me watch his dog. Yeah. So at that time Matt had well, well, when I was sick, uh, yeah, you were sick. But what was this dog? It was like a year old. It was a year old, wasn't even a year. It was still a puppy, wasn't it? Yeah, he was, he was big, but he was a puppy. Yeah, he was a big pet bull, though. Right. He wasn't no little pet Like a little compact pet bull. Right. Nah, he's a, he was an he was American big. bulldog pit. Yeah. You know, like he's fun a blue. Size. Yeah. I don't know if y'all know what fun blue means for the pet bull people, y'all know. But when he got that brown and the light hitting that, he would blue go across his back. Beautiful man, yeah. that was a beautiful dog. I got I got a photo I'll put on here if I if I can find it. So ahead, man, in telling the story, I'm thinking puppy, you know he ain't that strong. I watch him, ain't no big deal. <laughs> so first off, I think during that time I had Oreo dinner. No, we didn't have Oreo at that time. You got Oreo right at the time I was getting leaving out the apartment. Okay. So uh, needless to say. I was over there. I was chilling. I don't know where he got the idea from. Everything that I did, he thought he could do like he was a little dog. Because mm -hmm. when I was lay on the couch, he wanted to get on the couch with me. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Because he was he was a big puppy, though. He was big. And, but he wanted to do every. That's what I'm saying. I thought I had a dog. He had a puppy. He was, he was big. He, it's like a, a, a elementary kid at six foot he don't have a kid mentality yeah, right thinking he can do everything these little kids can yeah, do right because i used to work at the wide there was a kid that was like that real big and he would play around and they would come back so i'm like and general I, that's who he got it from yeah he and got, i had to tell him uh the little boy in my band that you cannot do Every what day. they do. Yeah, I said, bro, you taller than me and three times bigger than me. And if you hit me across the back, I'm gonna be ready to slap you across your face. So you can't do that stuff. I said, and he used to he for a minute he couldn't understand, he'd be crying, like, man, what are you? I like, bro, you are big. Like, you are not little. You can't do these type of things. And then finally he started clicking in and he was like, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Cause he's stronger than him, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So mama had a dog, General. Yeah. yeah, it was a little rat terrier, General, Love which dog. was your dog. Still. Yeah, but mama kept it. She wouldn't you. give it to you when you moved out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay, so at the you know at the end of the day, he seen him and you know rat terrier, a little bitty dog, and that he would jump on the couch and lay with us, lay under our legs. So he thought he could do that. So I'm like, you know, Max said, watch. Cool, I got you. I go over there. This dog was jumping on the couch. Every time I sit in the chair, he wanted to get in my lap. I was like, oh, I can't do it. So I'm like, look, maybe he got to go out. So I'm going to take him out. Magda already told me, he said, do <laughs> not take him out and just let him run free. No, no, no. Him. I said, lady, what I said is, the dog, I had some stairs that's steep and it go down. Yeah. I said, John, whatever you do, you let him, let that leash go and let him run down. He'll wait on Yeah, you. but let him run down. Let the yeah. leash go. I and said, don't hold that leash. <laughs> Got him a couple times. So, yeah. So I take him out. <laughs> My it was God. snowing too. I'm, it was snowing in there. I'm locking the door and I turned around and he locked the door back. Cause I don't know this nigga took off. No, you didn't lock the door because I was at home. I was That's why I said no. I was trying to lock the door. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I yeah, turned yeah, around. Yeah, and I was okay. trying to lock the door. That nigga took off. <laughs> yeah, he took off. He went behind me. Now, remind you, it's slick outside. He done took off running down these stairs. Max said, "Let go." I didn't let go. I thought he could hold him, nigga. <laughs> I got to the bottom, nigga. I swear, I set up like Terminator like this. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Why you throwing over there and leave me alone? Like, you all right? So I'm like, what you doing? Come on, what you doing? I was like, I don't know. You I got to yeah. Then he was so quick in his movements. I swear, he was gone. <laughs> and all the whole time, I was still holding the leash like an idiot. I was like, yeah. oh my God. I said, Max told me. Nah, I, I can't even be mad. Here's the funny part. 
I'm, I'm laying on the couch because I was still sick. So I came from the room and to the couch to watch TV. Mm -hmm. So I'm laying on the couch. <laughs> he come in, bro, I swear, all this whole side was nothing but snow. I looked there and I just bust up. I said, he ain't let that leash go. Man, fuck you. <laughs> if you. If you in this dog. <laughs> I said, I said, let it go. Man, you ain't tell me you was going to drag me down all the steps. <laughs> Man, and I didn't know. I listen. I thought he was gonna drag me and stop, but the, he all the way out to all the grass. Way down. <laughs> <laughs> then I grass. I think I what it is with me. my with my dog. He didn't know how to stop on steps. I Not mean, even just, he was. he didn't know the strength neither. Yeah. <laughs> so he would he didn't like when you put him on steps. He he got to go all the way up. You tell him to stop. He ain't gonna. He don't know how to stop on steps. Because he did me like that so many. He did me at least three, four times. That's why I was telling him, like, what you do? Let that leash go. <laughs> he going he and, and I've seen dogs do that where they yeah. don't know how to stop because they know how to go up them. They know how to yep. go down them, but that's it. He got me in the snow uh, once, <laughs> and that was like maybe a couple of weeks when he got you. Then, I remember he got me in the summertime. That's when I first met <laughs> They were strong. I was in the summertime, like you said, trying to lock the door. And I got the leash right here holding the door. And the next thing you know, he done whipped me around. <laughs> he whipped me around. I'm like, what the hell? And then I, I didn't go all the way down. Bro. I said, motherfucker, <laughs> you son of a bitch. And he was quick. He was quick. I was yeah. swinging at him. That thing. I was like, God dang. I ain't, I I ain't never going to get my leg back. <laughs> God, he, was, boy, he would jump you real quick. He used, to, he used to have me rolling. Uh, <laughs> I used to get, he used to chase geese when he was a pup. Oh, yeah. Until you met the right one. And geese won't <laughs> And ever since then, when he was big, he would see him, he would run right between my I'm like, hey! He done wrapped the chain around you my know, leg. You know, Beethoven do that. Beethoven <laughs> ran up on the wrong geese, too. <laughs> and that, that geese said, that nigga took a. Yeah. And then the funny thing is, Beethoven is blind. All right, so I had an incident. I was out somewhere, and I can't even remember. I was out with Mama. And uh, I think it was at, a, at the fair or at the mall or something. I can't remember what it was. And then Mama just walked and talked to me and stuff like this. And uh, this guy <laughs> come up to me, hey, man. He said, we should hang out, man. I think we like some of the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm like, yeah, here, I need my number. Does exchange numbers and everything. Alright, I don't brought I don't ran to this dude and might might got somebody I can hang with. I get home. Now and he talked about he wanted to link up so we can go bowling. See that's the thing. We I'm friends. Yeah. So that's, that's why we're thinking friends. Yeah, friends. But go ahead. So I go out with this dude, we go on bowling and stuff and and you know, I'm like it's, I thought it was weird because he paid for everything. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, this dude paid for it. I was like, maybe he's just one of them type of dudes. Because, like, I, I've had homeboys, you know, that I work with and stuff. Yeah. And, and we, like, one of us would pay for everything. And then the next time, the other dude get everything. You know, so your group, it take turns. I ain't never did that. Much. I, no, I, I don't pay for people's stuff. But mm -hmm. it'll be like, you tell me ahead of time. And not... At the spur of the moment, like we eat, oh, I got it. Well, then I'm gonna be like, what the hell you got? Me? And that's how we was, though. But that's how we was as co-workers. Yeah. So like, we'll go out and it's like four of us, and we're like, I got it. And mm -hmm. now we got all four of us. Next time we go out, you get everybody. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So because you gotta remember, we out of town. We ain't got no home cooked meals all the yeah. time. So we we go out to eat, we go bowling, we go do stuff together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's all we know is us as co-workers. So anyway, back to the story. So, you know, this dude done came up and asked, wanted to go bowling and stuff like that. And I exchanged numbers. Dude came, picked me up first off. I'm like, cool. I got a car. I got a car, but I'll ride with you. Okay. Yeah. So I can't see that being. We go on boat. We went bowling. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, I got my money together. And he was like, I, I got it. I asked you to come with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just do it. Let me clear it up. I take that back. Matter of fact, somebody was like, I got you, bro. And I, 
I'm gonna let it ride too. Oh, yeah, man. straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, my bad. So you know, we he paid for the bowling, paid for the shoes, all that. We go, we bowling, having a good time. You know, uh, he kept offering me drinks. I thought that was kind of weird too. Mm -hmm. But I done it with some yeah. friends, yeah. though. Yeah. You know, yeah. friends, we go out and, yeah. and everybody buy drinks for everybody. Okay, so further on into the night. So we ate a little pizza and stuff, and then, all right, now it's time to go. So we get something to leave. So I'm, I'm glad he waited. <laughs> <laughs> because he could have had me in a bad situation because I didn't drive. Remember? Ooh, he drove. Ooh, yeah. So and we get back to the to my house, right? And then when he pulled up, he was like, all right, bro. He said, now, I'm gonna let you know. He said, see, see if you down or not. He said, before we go in front of me. I'm looking at you like, what you talking about? He said, I like to put in that. He said, and he said, and sometimes I pay him for it. Like, nigga, was this a date? So I've been with you for three hours. <laughs> He's, I, I'm looking at him like, so nigga, this was a date? And you hit the strike, but you trying to strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, my God. God. I said, hey. so you basically took me out to the <laughs> And he was like, yeah. He said, so are you Ooh. down? I said, yeah, yeah. no. I said, bro, if I would have known that's what you was on, I wouldn't even let you spend your money like that, bro. Yeah, nah. I said, oh, you my God. came to my house. And he said, well, he said, you know, I'm not going to sell that. kept it a you know? fake, Yeah, fake the phone with you. He said, I, I, like, I, like, I like that he kept it a G with you and then try to Man, set you But you know how I felt day. walking in the house? <laughs> you know how I felt walking in the house, bro? Well, I felt trail. like, <laughs> no, I felt like I see how women feel when... A man take him out to dinner and stuff. And try to expect coochie out of him because he done spent some money on that's him. A, that's a good segue man. to a point I always wanted to make with you guys. Let me tell you something. All this alpha this and, and, and red pill this is a bunch of bull. Let me tell you something. Alphas ain't got to talk about them being an alpha for one. If I'm an alpha, I ain't got to keep yeah. telling everybody, alpha this, I'm alpha that. This is alpha energy. No. Right. Secondly, if I tell a woman, hey, I think you're beautiful, you got some beautiful eyes, I love the way you carry yourself, can I take you out to eat? Can I take you out to eat? Right. That means Even I'm though she paying for a thousand dollar tab, bro. That no, don't hold on, nigga. Shut that shit <laughs> all the way off. <laughs> now we can change it. No, 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 no. no. If she run up a thousand dollar tab, that's still on you. You the one who offered to pay for everything. You the one who told her she could get whatever that's, she wanted. Okay, you know what? I see why some people say alpha. That's some beta male shit, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so let me explain why I say hell to the knob. First of all, a first date is not root Chris. You're not a root Chris it's chick. It's not, but if you're the not a is too stupid Apple to know that, that's I mean, no, nah, you're an Applebee's chick, my bad. Maybe Red Lobster, but you ain't no root Chris chick. I don't know you. Let me get to know you. God dang, why you gotta spend a thousand dollars on it? <clears throat> Take me for a thousand dollars just to eat something that you're gonna Google out here in a couple of hours. Now, look, I mean, you right ain't even, a, to me, that ain't, you ain't a real chick to me anyway. I don't yeah. need to be with you if you wanna run up that much money. In that little time, that mean if I get with you, you gonna you gonna put me through the ring. But go ahead. But bro. that okay. Well, I understand what he's you saying. See what I'm saying. But right. at the end of the day, if the dude is too stupid to think that that's the first date type of place, then that's his fault. No. What I'm no, saying no. is, here you go. What I'm saying is, because I had chicks that right. I told them come out to me, come out with me to Roof Chris. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be sitting there alone. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm paying for her to come with me. I don't give a care what she ordered because I told her she could order whatever she want. At the end of the day, we I think she spent two hundred and ninety something dollars, and I spent two hundred something dollars. So, and she she now listen, mind I'm you, listening to me. mind you, at the end of the day, she thought she felt like she did have to put out, and I didn't want her to because at the end of the day. The thing was, I told her, I asked you to come, and I mean, I just wanted you to have, so I have somebody with me. So I'm not looking weird in there eating by myself. So I didn't care what you ordered, because I got to feed myself anyway. Now you see, this, this is where I feel like there's a flaw in the story. 
You went as a friend. Mm -hmm. As a friend, yeah. And I told her that from the beginning. If you my home girl and we tight and or we friends and all I wanna go to Salt Bay or something. And I, cause I got the money right. to do it. And you my home girl, yes, I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars. Well she wasn't gonna run it up. This was the chick I was talking to. Then you knew you said no, no, no. I I explained it to her though. I said, I just want somebody to go with me. I sound like I don't know, man. My but thing is I basically took her on a friendship type thing. But have y'all went out before? No. No. Yes. No. no. We was talking for a while. I don't give a damn. Let me tell you something. Ladies, if you want that, get it. Take it. That's that's it's, it's <laughs> different. It's different stroke with different folks. He if he got the money, you know, I, I don't know. I, I explained, explained it all. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I, I understand. But that. anyway, I explained it all from the beginning. The reason yeah. why. Like I said, and I told her, I said, if we don't ever talk again after this, that's up to you. I why said, did you want to spend a thousand dollars on somebody like that? She I mean, not a thousand, but five hundred, six hundred. Because I gotta eat too. I'm going to eat, and I don't care what she ordered because I'm gonna try her shit. And you just said, if you dumb enough to do it, that's on niggas that's dating though. We you went, just said this it was a date. Listen, it wasn't a date. You said y'all was talking. Yeah, we was talking. That's a date. But it wasn't a date. Bro, that's a date. I told her to go out with me, and I said I want to go. I want to try roof grips. I've never had it before. Mm -mm. And I said, but I don't be. Did eating. you did you hit any any time that that night? I did. And that's said, a date. Hold on. The thing was, she felt obligated to give me something. Of course. And I told her no. I said it ain't even about that, bro. I, I ain't said, even a girl. You spend three hundred on me. I'm gonna feel obligated to bro. do something. I don't Listen, care about you guys. I would have been in the whole gym. Like, During that time, I was, I was big. And that, if not asking on him. So, we different. How about that? We're going to leave it at that. I'm going to make $3,500. We are going to agree or disagree. <laughs> because my thing is, with me, you ain't getting none of that unless I know you. You it know what I mean? I got to get to know you before I, I go to those battles. Now, what I'm trying to tell these guys is when you tell a girl you want to take her out, that means you saying you want to take her out. So you are going to pay for it. And you gonna that don't place, mean right? let's go to Root Chris and, and run a bag and then now you got to give me some neck or, or you got to give me some. Right. Even if you go to Applebee's and, and you be like, hey, it's $70. Uh, what you gonna do for this ten dollars? What kind of stuff is that, bro? Right. Like, come on, that's lame activity right there. That's lame guy. Even, yeah, right. Even, but this thing is, like, if, if you can't afford to go ask her. My thing is, it's the first day you get to know this girl. Yeah. It's, like you said, if you can't afford it, you tell. Her. And she's like, I'm gonna be real with you. I'll be like, look, man, I came here with a hundred dollars, so let's make it make sense. You know what I mean? Right. But that gets. The girls that you are going to attract is genuine, real girls who really like you and not your money. When there you go. do stuff Straight like that. Straight up for it. And that's why I told her. If I was single and I and I was rich, the first thing I'm going to take a girl out somewhere like Applebee's just to see her energy. If she won't be for me. Because my thing is, a lot of these girls think you're supposed to spend all this money on them and you're not. Yeah. But a lot of guys think if I do spend this money on you, finna throw that thing back that same day. Man, and that ain't how it go. My thing is, a real man know when when it's time to, to get down and when it's time to be a man and be a gentleman. You know, they don't make gentlemen no more. Everybody got this weak, nerdy, dorky attitude, and then they wanna wrap it with, oh, I'm just being real. No, you've been a dork, bro. You being weird, like oh, they feel like somebody owes them something. Yeah, and then when a woman uh, tell you no, you, you leave her there, and all. Like, man, come on, man. You want to fight? Yeah, at some point, that's that's dork, that's geek attitude, that's that's weirdo attitude. If I if I brought you to this place, I'm gonna make sure I take you back home. Right. If I picked you up from your home, you are gonna make it back home. So I don't care what we got going on. We ain't gotta talk in yeah. the car. But I'm gonna take you back home. Yeah. Because my thing is. I feel like I'm responsible enough to, if I pick you up from a certain place, let me get you back to this place. Because another thing that these idiots don't understand is, you go out with this girl, 
leave her there and somebody rape and kill her, right. you the main suspect. And you were responsible, yeah. That's how you know that niggas and all this other, and, and they are dorks when it comes to mind. Because my thing is a real street criminal thinking person or, or the been through some stuff. That's that's how I, that's how I would think. Man, let me get this girl home. Cause if I leave her here and something happens to her, then that's on me. I'm gonna be number one suspect. Yeah, that's yeah. on me. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> we just gonna leave it at them two stories. Wind grow.